tips for the feet in Verse in Fortune Teller? Feet. Tell you what, I'll play you that song right now. Then we can have a chat about it. How about that? The only thing that's hard about Fortune Teller, there's one thing that's hard about it. It is, between the hands, it's just a paradiddle with accents. So it makes a backbeat. So if you use a molar, down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap. Okay, so the first thing to do is to just get that. In fact, actually the first thing to do is realise realise that you might be putting this on YouTube and you need to sell merchandise. So we're the only thing you currently have in stock. This is now a grind and hustle seminar. Sigma mindset, Sigma mentality mindset. Anyway, so you need to get, number one, to get the hands done, you need to know, ideally you want to do molar for it. Down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap. I'm not going to explain that for you right now. You can do your own research for that. Get it so you can just do that without thinking about it. Okay, so the only thing that actually makes Fortune Teller hard, thank you for that gifted sub there, Snorker. The only thing that actually makes it hard is that when you start, everyone at like an intermediate advanced level of drumming knows the paradiddle groove thing. It's from Rush, isn't it? Um, but we're pretty much only ever taught follow the right foot with the right hand.
which is quite cool. But the reason people struggle with fortune teller and they just say they can't do it is because the kick drum pattern is one E, a two and. And in the paradiddle played as 16th notes, the E is going to be a ghost note. So it's quite, it's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach. You want to play a ghost note, but a hard kick drum. So the way I do it is I play it with two feet, which feels a little bit more natural because the left foot happens at the same time as the left hand. So it's boom boom on the right left, the paradiddle. If, I, if I'm correct, I can do this. Look at that, I'm a professional. So the other one that kind of sucks, so that's the first one. So I would get the power of it all done and just practice going boom, 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 boom on every power of it all. Just get a click on once you can do the hands. If you can't do the hands straight away, you spend two weeks on the hands. Then do that. Boom, 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 boom. Then put the next kick in. Boom, boom, boom. So that next one is on the second right, which again is a little bit tricky, but also super groovy. Boom, back. Boom, back. Then the only, like, the only bit that sucks after that is the kick drum that comes on the, the first of the two diddles on the left hand. Every bone in your body is going to want to play that snare loud. Also, before anyone goes, nah. number one, Liquid Fire by Gojira. Yes, it's a paradiddle with some kicks underneath it, but also it's a paradiddle with some kicks underneath it. It was in Rush, it was in everything, right? Yes, Liquid Fire was where I went, oh, that's cool. It's not the same pattern. Okay, I'll hold my hands up. If you're going to gatekeep paradiddles, you can get fucked because it's like the fourth rudiment. So if that's where the gates close, then we're all fucked. Um, there we go, there's a drum lesson. <laughs>